Hi guys, it's Goddess Gail. Today I have something really cute and fun and maybe silly to do. So I just have a blind buy for the fragrance. And this one is already discontinued. They do not sell in my country. And I have to blind buy for the tester box. I know it doesn't trust me yet, but I just really want that fragrance and I heard a lot of good things about it. And the discontinued, so I'm kind of curious to try it on. And today I'm gonna do the, the review for the Dune fragrance by Dior. I love Dior and I heard a lot of good things about it, so I bought and tested. I know, I'm sorry. All right, let's unbox and do the review of this fragrance. I just read online, they said the vintage fragrance and I heard somebody has a tester for it and it's already discontinued so I paid some bucks for that. I really want it so I bought it. And this is a tester box. It looks so lame but they have the, the real fragrance so anyway they have written on here Dune or the Twilight. Not for sale, but I bought it. I know. Oh my god, oh my god, this is the actual. Oh, I like the color. This one, this is a hundred mils. Oh my god, it looks so cute. And I do the makeup to match it. Maybe it's too much, but I look cute. The packaging is not everything, but it still looks cute if you ask me i'm curious to try it on my skin anyway so i looked it up and it say woody amberly vintage fragrance and a lot of people say that this one is one of the best fragrances from dior so i want to see it let's take a look for the notes so the top notes are brazilian rosewood Aldehydes, I'm so sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Mandarin orange, bergamot, peony, middle notes are lily, ylang ylang, wildflower, jasmine, rose. Oh my god, I love jasmine fragrance and I also love rose fragrance. So I want it. And the best notes are sandalwood, amber, benzoin oak, moss, vanilla, patchouli, musk. So from the notes, most of the notes are what I love from the fragrance like jasmine, amberly, vanilla. So I'm really excited to try it on. All right, let's do it. I think I'm not into the packaging, but I look, think it's really cute. It looks sexy. Anyway, let's try it on. Oh. The beginning is so weird. Oh my god, it smells really old. Vintage, just like they said. Oh my god, it's so woody. It's not too strong for the beginning at all. I think it could smell a lot of rose and benzoin. Sandalwood. It's really woody. It's the woodiest fragrance that I ever tried. But somehow it's relaxing and they have some kind of jasmine, a little bit of jasmine, but I love a lot of jasmine. It's really interesting. It's really cool. It's not warm at all. And this one is an auto light. I tried it on 2 p.m. I want to do the wet test and when I let it dry down a bit to see if I like it. Oh my god, this is the weirdest fragrance ever. It really smells like some antique place. It's really hard to explain, but like super natural smell, like. You went to the, some kind of antique store. It smells like that. Mm. Somehow it's relaxing. I'm not sure if I'm into this kind of fragrance, but 
The dry down is so interesting. It's really cool. It's deep. It's also fresh at the same time. Bring me back to that kind of antique store, shop or whatever. Could smell a lot of amber and a lot of those kind of like, should I say like dead flowers? I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like super fresh flowers like Chador or like those bouquet in front of you. It doesn't smell like that. It's a little bit drier. It's really interesting. So I'll do the brad test and I'll come back for the final result of my bag. Alright guys, now it's been almost 3 hours. Now it's almost 5. This fragrance is so weird. Right now it smells more sweet and it loses the scent of that antique smell like that dead or dry flowers. It's a spicy and woody fragrance, I would say that. But like with time, it amps up the vanilla and amber for it, so it's really weird. At first it's so antique, but now it's more creamy. It's really interesting. I'll be back for another check-up. Hi guys, this is the final check-in. And right now it's almost 11 p.m. So for my final thought, this one lasts strongly on me around 5 hours and after that it fades kind of quickly. Right now I could barely smell it. It's like a little bit powdery and sweet. This fragrance is so interesting. It came out so strong, woody, dark and spicy somehow. But later on, when it dries down, it becomes more sweeter and sweeter. And it still has that kind of woody scent to it, but the ancient smell just gone. So I thought when I first sprayed this one, I thought this would be the first Dior fragrance that I would not like. But when it dries down and it becomes more sweeter, it's so creamy, it's so good. There's a lot of leaves in it and ambery vanilla. I could smell vanilla after and it's so creamy and delicious. This fragrance is so interesting. I'm glad I tried this one because it has so many complexity if I would say. I do like it. It's so sexy. It reminds me a little bit of amber nude for in the sense of that amber but that's it but it's so different than that i love the dry now and after the when it lost the scent of the ancient smell this is fucking beautiful and amazing and creamy i do enjoy this one so much so that's my final thought and i'm, I'm glad i bought this tester it's worth it so this is my final thought i hope you guys enjoyed the video Thank you so much for watching.